Good morning. Good and morning. Welcome to day two of our staycation. Hi, buddy. Somebody had a really bad night's sleep. He did. So normally, <laughs> buddy, Jaxie, why didn't you sleep at all? <laughs> oh yeah, you're just crazy. He like would not sleep at all. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think we probably got a total of like two hours of sleep. Yeah. Over the span of it's a few okay hours. Much. But now we're awake. Yeah, and, and we're gonna go get some breakfast. We are. We ordered breakfast from Olivia's. But first thing I wanted to talk about is there's a golf course right outside our windows. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was right there. Yeah. So Holy cow. That's the start of a hole, right? So that's a tee. And I was sitting in here with Jackson this morning, and he was running. Jackson's running around, and I see some people drive up in a golf cart. Two golf carts, four people total, come driving up. One guy gets out of the first golf cart, throws his golf ball down. Swing, watches it go, like that fast. And then they, he's the only one that gets back, like everybody else stayed in the golf cart. He gets back in the golf cart, all four of, four of them leave. He was the only one playing? I don't understand what that was. That was golf. What, did he like show up late and he's like, I gotta catch up to these four guys or these three guys. Oh, maybe. Cause I thought golf was like, you get out, you throw it down. For, he didn't even use a tee. He just like threw it on the grass. Oh well. And he didn't even use a driver, he used like a nine iron or something. But I thought golf was like, you you take it out, you put the tee down, you pick what golf club you mm -hmm. want. Like a relaxing game? You talk to your guys like, what do you think I should use? You think I should use my driver? Huh? Or like my nine iron? Or Those are the only two clubs you know. <laughs> my, my wood? The six wood? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, like it looks like it's about 300 yards. What do you think I should do? He Yeah, he must have been behind them. It was them. just like, boom! It was like Happy Gilmore or something. I wonder, when does golf start? Like, how early do people golf here? As soon as the sun's up. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. All I'm right. sure there's like 6 a.m. tea times. Oh my gosh. You want to get out in Florida? You want to get out before the sun's like high and hot. Oh, that's true, yeah. Because like, it gets hot real quick here. I forgot about that. Yeah, so like right now, it's it's 69 degrees outside, so it's beautiful. Like a nice golfing <laughs> day. Which it's nice enough for us to go get our breakfast and sit outside and eat it and oh, maybe yeah. get hit by some golf balls. Yeah, you, you hear them. You hear people <laughs> playing golf out there. Should we go get our breakfast? Let's do it. I did want to point out that we have to park underneath oak trees and I guess it's oak pollen season because there is pollen all over the car. We are back at Conklatt's General Store and Olivia's and we're going around the corner to pick up our Olivia's to go. Oh, there's some flags here. I'm gonna show them when we get a little bit closer. All right, I wonder what it says. Looks like they can change it too. So each one of these flags represents a different letter. It's kind of hard to see what they all are. Ooh, wonder what it is. Oh, while we were sleeping, they dropped off this Riviera Resort pamphlet because they're like, oh, we know that you're not DVC owners. You could be, and you could own at Riviera. And also here's a free gift and the free gift is kind of nice. Like this is it. This is like a, like a art print. Does that mean that we can't own here? Are they just, they're just really trying to sell No, they're really trying to sell Riviera because okay. it's the newest one. So for breakfast, I got Olivia's breakfast, which is two eggs any style, Olivia's breakfast potatoes, which I don't know what makes these Olivia's breakfast potatoes. They're like creamy and they have, I think some celery in them. Okay, that sounds strange. <laughs> and then I got a choice of two sides or a biscuit and a choice of sides. So I got a biscuit and some bacon. And then Jack's, oh, and that was $14. And then Jen got the same exact thing. But I added the Olivia's Famous Grits. Well, oh, that doesn't even look like grits. It looks like they're, I think they have cheese. I'm going to let you know in a second, but they're very creamy. These were an additional $5, but I had to get them because they were famous. Right? Olivia's Famous. And then for Jackson's, we got his kids scrambled eggs with the choice of two selections. And we picked banana bread and a fruit cup. We got him some milk. Oh, and some milk. And his was $9. And our discount was applied, which is nice. Our annual pass discount. Oh my goodness, we are out here eating. And number one, a guy came and like trimmed the bushes, like really loud right next to us. And then a golfer, I, he was like, the guy was like trimming the bushes right down here. And I heard a guy go four, and then all of a sudden, golf ball, like right there. Right, he would have been hit with that golf ball. That's impressive. I wonder if that guy like saw it in his kid. It, it also, it didn't bounce. If it had hit the, ooh, is this him? It is him. <gasps> ooh. That was so like wild. He, it was like a second. Yeah. It hit a second after he moved. 
Yeah. So that's like luck. And they were like watching him and they're like, uh, four, I guess. <laughs> he should play the lottery. Maybe. So, I don't think he even noticed that it happened. I don't think he did either. That was the He's weird like part. drove away. He's yeah. like, oh. So I wanted to tell you about the grits really quick. Are they famous? They are so delicious. They are cheesy. It's the cheese is like really, really mixed into the like the cream of grits. So it's not like sometimes you get grits and there's cheese baked on top. This is like in the grits. But yeah. They are so delicious. I highly recommend trying these if you like grits. And then the potatoes, they have leeks in them, not not celery, it was leeks. Oh, okay. So, and those are really good too. I wasn't a fan of the potatoes. I like them, I like them, yeah. I like a crispy breakfast potato more than like a creamy breakfast potato. Mm. This right. banana bread was really oh, good. Oh, what you did. Oh. Very Whoa. smart. Sword in the stone style. <laughs> you are the king of this breakfast table. And also the, uh, the biscuits were really good. Yeah, I like this breakfast a lot. But, we forgot to ask for butter, so we didn't get any butter with our biscuits. But, they, but, the, but the biscuit was still good. That's how you know it's a good biscuit. Yeah. So, highly recommend Olivia's for breakfast. They yeah. also have a brunch menu. Oh, really? It starts in April. Oh, okay. So, maybe we'll come and try brunch. Yeah. All right, now that we're all done with breakfast and then we freshened up, Jackson's got his outfit on. Now, it's time to go to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. Should be pretty fun. We don't really have anything planned for it. We're just kind of going seeing what we can find. Here we are at Disney's Hollywood Studios. There's already a sign out that says all boarding groups are full for Rise of Resistance. They're gonna open it up again at one for additional boarding groups. So right now it's noon, so in an hour, people in the park should be able to get boarding groups for Rise of the Resistance, hopefully. That's something we'll have to redo one day is how to get a boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance because the rules have changed. You can now get one from home on the day that you're going to Hollywood Studios at 7 a.m. So one morning we'll wake up early and show you all how to do that. I wonder what some of the wait times are today. It doesn't look too bad here on Hollywood Boulevard, but looking down at Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, it looks pretty crowded at the actual ride. First stop, Starbucks, or as it's called here at Hollywood Studios, the Trolley Car Cafe. We recently went to Animal Kingdom and we talked about how all of the Starbucks in the park have different names. This one in Hollywood Studios is called the Trolley Car Cafe. So sometimes inside of Starbucks they have different seasonal treats and right now they don't have anything they did say that they have the carrot cake cookie is the only thing that they have right now this is where the seasonal treat would be so we're headed down towards tower of terror because there is an ice cream stand down here it has very strange hours so i'm hoping that it's open but i think they have a specialty float right now let's go have a look so i kind of had a feeling something like this might happen to us today so today is march 2nd so march began yesterday so sometimes if they have specials they might get rid of them at the end of the month. Uh, so there is nothing special here at Hollywood Scoops in March. I'm so here's ask. a look at the menu. They have a brownie sundae, an ice cream sundae, and hand scooped ice cream cup. This is pretty interesting. This guy in the vest over here is the end of the line for rock and roller coaster. And you go into the phantasmic area and then back out and then you cross the road over to this side. So you can see they're closing off the road right now so the line can come through. But it's only a 40 minute wait is what it says on his sign. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize this was part of their uniform. Yeah, it says I'm with the band. That's cool. Which oh, band? They're, they're all wearing it. Aerosmith. Yeah. Oh. Aerosmith? Yeah. Can you get us backstage passes? Yeah. yeah. I love that idea. So we were talking to somebody the other day. It was like yesterday or the day before and they said that they were testing Phantasmic. Oh. Yeah, so uh, I don't know what that means. Maybe fireworks one day soon? Maybe. I don't know. So for Jackson's lunch, I was excited to get him this fun looking turkey sandwich. Wah, 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 wah. Not as fun. What was fun about it? Oh, it looks like a, like a goldfish. It's got a smiley face and everything. But now it's just a regular old turkey sandwich. Still probably delicious for him, but like, how much fun would this be? Yeah. Oh, you putting a little smiley face in it? Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, I love it. It's perfect. So Disney recently just updated their mask policy oh, yeah. to include dining locations and specifics about dining locations. So the only time you're allowed to take off your mask is when you're actively eating food or drinking a drink. So even if you're sitting at a table, you can't just have your mask off unless you're actively eating. Right. But we ate at where we got Jackson some food at Rosie's All-American, and I can tell you 
There is no enforcement of that rules at the quick service locations. We haven't eaten at a sit down restaurant no. inside. Well, I was going to mention it. So when we got our food from Olivia's and we saw the outdoor seating at Olivia's, yeah. they weren't enforcing it either. So, all right, well, yeah, let's see what else we can find around Hollywood Studios. Well, it looks like I'm captive. Oh no. This is where I have to be for the rest of the day. I feel like we live in such a confusing time going to the parks because is Dockside Diner open on the weekends, just not on the weekdays, or has it not opened at all during the new the new way of life? I, I feel like I have seen it open. I, I see these tables full all the time, but I yeah. never paid attention to whether or not this was open or not. I, I got confused too because I thought this was an Uncrustable with macaroni and cheese in it. Oh, that sounds really gross. <laughs> but it's two different menu items. Right, right. Maybe we should invent that. We, we have that Uncrustable machine. We should. Okay. Doing it. So we're into Galaxy's Edge now. Pretty darn crowded in here. Also, we did get the announcement right before we walked in here, 10 minutes after one o'clock, that all of the Rise of Resistance boarding passes are done for the day. As we're walking through Galaxy's Edge, this is something that I haven't seen before, is this one sprite cart with an R2 droid on the front. Interesting. I feel like we should check and see how his motivator is. This is neat. So this is like space sprite. And you can see it's got the lemon and the lime colors here. So how come this sprite cart has this kind of droid and then the Coke cart has this kind of droid? I don't know. So this is an R2 droid and this is an R5 droid. I don't know why Sprite has an R2 and why Coke has an R5. Is, is this a newer droid? Maybe, yeah. So I wonder if it's because Sprite is a newer beverage than Coca-Cola? I think we're putting too much thought into it, but maybe. <laughs> Pretty interesting because both Galaxy's Edge and Toy Story Land are the two most crowded areas of Hollywood Studios, but Toy Story Land does look slightly less crowded than Galaxy's Edge. Also, Swirling Saucers is only a 20 minute wait, and when I looked in the app, Millennium Falcon was a 65 minute wait. So you can tell that this area of the park is a little bit less popular or a little bit a little bit less crowded today. Well I think it's just mission log. They have detected alien swirling saucer activity at a nearby city. Okay. I think that it's just that the swirling saucer ride is like less popular than Millennium Falcon. Oh yeah, we gotta check and see what, what Slinky Dog is. Yeah, I think that'd be a better tell. So it hasn't been announced, but I have a feeling that this barbecue restaurant was put on hold because I feel like they shouldn't have left it with this gray exterior. They would have decorated it like it's supposed to be a box that's what it's supposed to look like is a cardboard box but they just left it as this gray exterior and it's been like that for months and months and months so i have a feeling it's uh, po postponed also we still haven't found the end of the flinky dog line and we're going towards the beginning of toy story land and this line on our right is midway mania all right here it is the beginning of the slinky dog line it says it's a 60 minute wait and it's all the way out here just outside of toy story land this marks the exit of Toy Story Land right here. So the end of the line is outside of Toy Story Land. Midway Mania is only a 40 minute wait and the line is way outside of Toy Story Land. So you can see the sign right there in front of that market. Wow, that's a long line. And I was gonna say we should try to ride Slinky Dog and we would just do the parent swap, the baby trade, what is it called? It's a child swap. That's what it is. It's a baby trade. <laughs> Um, but the, I think the line would be too long for him to have to wait. Yeah. So uh, another thing that was exciting is that Seoul, they just had the, what was it, the Academy Awards? Oh, no, the Golden Globes. Golden Globes. And Seoul won Best Animated Feature yeah. and Best Soundtrack, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or score. There it is. So I couldn't find any special desserts, but I did find a Num Num cookie. So we got one. I think we're going to head back to the resort now because somebody needs to go down for a nap. It's that baby back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's Jackson. Also Jackson. Yeah. So we're going to get him a, a real nap rather than in a stroller, and yeah. then we will hang out at the resort. Well, I think because he had such a rough time last night, I think, yeah, we're going to let him actually nap in the in the room. Before we leave, we got to see this cavalcade. Pluto and Mickey. All right, we are all done at Hollywood Studios and then we're going back to the resort. We're back at the resort now in our room. Uh, it's supposed to rain tonight. So the idea was that we were gonna go to Disney Springs, but we're only eating outside. And uh, some of the restaurants that are outside don't have covering, some do. 
So we decided maybe we won't go to Disney Springs tonight just to avoid the rain. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in for dinner. We're gonna go down to the Kong Flats General Store, pick up some food items to make here in the room because I was interested to see like, what do they have? What could we get and make in our DVC room from the general store at Old Key West? So that's what we're gonna do tonight. You okay, buddy? What are you reaching for? Oh, he wants you to open the window. Oh, you want me to open the window? Okay, here you go, buddy. Is that what it is? You want me to open up the window here? There you go. We did it. Nice work, buddy. Those are all open. Oh, you want me to close that one? Okay. I like how he's using the fork. Right? So here's a question for you. So this is the kitchen for the room that... I know. I'm just going to show them really quick. You showing them a dance? All right. There it is. That's, this has been your Jackson dance interlude. Do 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 Bingo! All right. Can I show them what I was going to show them? Oh no, you're still dancing. Jackson, you're such a good dancer. Are you looking at yourself in the reflection on the TV? Dancing? Who's that baby in the... He's got a spoon too, by the way. Um, He's got a spoon. So this is the kitchen in the room that we're in at Old Key West. Do you think that Disney had enough foresight to buy this oven specifically because of that Mickey? Because of that like hidden Mickey right there? Do you think or do you think they're just like, eh, GE's giving us a great deal on these random stoves and they're like, we'll buy 300 of them. Probably the second thing. Probably the second thing. <laughs> okay, two observations I've made about this room in general is that uh, number, well, I guess three observations. Three <laughs> observations that I've made about this room. Number one, it's never clean outside. Like on the balcony, there are, there's just like dirt everywhere. And there's bugs up in the ceiling fan and stuff like that. Here, I'll actually show you. Oh, it's because it's not screened in? Well, yeah, it's Florida. Like if you look up at the ceiling fan up here, it's just dirty up on top up there. And then there's just leaves everywhere. And there's spider webs and there's bugs and stuff like that. So if you come to a hotel room in Florida and there's a balcony, the balcony's never going to be clean. Just be prepared for that. But I don't think it's a big deal. No, no, not a big deal at all. I just wanted people to know because some people well, come no, from, I'm I don't know, my like a clean state like Maine and they come down to dirty old Florida mm. and they're like, what is this place? Disney World. Right? <laughs> so second observation. So when they first reopened I believe that they were like really meticulous in how they cleaned each room. Mm -hmm. And I think that has since fallen off. It's still cleaner than it was before coronavirus, but there are little things that you see. Like take for instance, I just found a dime on the ground over in the corner. I do have to agree with you. I do think that for the first place that we stayed was Saratoga, was the tree houses. Yeah. And I did notice. <coughs> he handed me the remote. He's like, here you go, dad. <laughs> Um, I did. I, I do have to agree with you. I think that it's. I think also because there's just more people staying now. Right. I think it's harder to do that kind of cleaning. There's less staff. They have to clean more. Right. More people are are slowly but surely coming on their Disney trips. Right. So I think it's just hard to expect that level of cleanliness. Right. I don't know. It's tough. It's a tough situation, but I still feel good about how clean it is. Yeah. And then my third point, the thing that I've noticed about this room is it's a very minor thing, but I'm going to show it to you right now. Something that I do like, just speaking of the laundry room, I was going to turn the light on, but I don't know where it is. Oh, it's over here. I like that there's a dedicated laundry room. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. And they give you your own laundry hamper. A lot of the DVC resorts do this, but they give you like a foldable one. Yeah, this is cool though. This one's nice and big. I, I, I still am like ranking this very high on our list. I think my highest, if I had to like, not that you asked me, but like, I think if I had what, to rank. What's your rank? <laughs> would be um, the cabins at Wilderness Lodge. And then I feel like Riviera. And then I think this. Really? I think so. Okay. I don't know. There's so many variables that go into it, but I think right. that would be, we should actually do that one day. We should rank them all. Okay. And see, what, Cause I'd be curious to see what yours are. So here's my other thing that I noticed about this room. And this isn't, this isn't like a, an issue or anything. It's just like a little thing that I thought was weird. What? So this, so we're in the laundry room right now. Yeah. And into the bathroom, oh there's a deadbolt. Oh. 
So like if you're in here doing laundry, there's a deadbolt so people can't come from the bathroom into the laundry room? I know, buddy. Hold on. Here you go. I like that that's like an old style lock. Right. That's kind of cool. It's very old Key Westy. It is, right? And then the other thing that I thought was weird, speaking of doors, is there's no door here. Oh, from here to... From here into where the bathtub is. Huh. So there is a window. There's a window into the bedroom. So you have to make sure that you're comfortable being able to be seen, like, from the bedroom if you're taking a bath. And this has been Weird Hotel Things with Tim. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to head down to... Kong Flats General Store, but we're not going to take the car. We're going to walk. Yeah, it's the other thing about this resort is that it's beautiful. Yeah, like it, it really lends itself to like taking the walk rather than driving. Right. And you see a lot of people walking and running and taking advantage of like just the beautiful scenery. So we're going to do that too. And I'm going to time it and do like I'm going to do act like we're doing a, a an outdoor workout walk. Oh. So I'm going to see how far it is too. Okay. So let's go do it. So we are in building 49, and in my opinion, 49 and 50 are the two furthest away buildings from the general store. So I'm gonna start my watch right now. So we've made it to what our bus stop would be. We've been walking for a total of two minutes and we've gone 500 feet. All right, 11 minutes of walking, uh, about a half a mile, and we're at the second bus stop. We're right across from the lighthouse at the pool, almost there. I feel like by the end of this, we'll have gone like three quarters of a mile here and then three quarters of a mile back. So a mile and a half total. Well, I've heard a whole ABBA song. Oh yeah, they're playing SOS at the pool because it's like party time at the pool. All right, here we are. We've made it to Kong Flats. Let's have a look. All right, 0.6 miles, about 14 and a half minutes or 14 minutes and 40 seconds. And we're here. Let's see what we can get. Oh, I can get a Mickey premium bar. You think it'll melt between here and the house? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Some hot pockets. Oh, no, those are terrible for you. Well, yeah, well, it's, it's fine. <laughs> we're, we're not doing any. You get a pizza? It sounds kind of good. Adult lunchables. Ooh. Did you, oh, hot dogs, but no buns. Where are these buns at? Oh, they're, they're, they're back there. Oh, they're back yeah. here. Okay. Yeah, we have some buns right there. Got some buns over here. Yeah, we have. Oh, yeah, there they are. All right, so here's something I wanted to ask you all. They sell this coffee here, and these are just like the packets like you would put in the coffee maker in the room. Right? right? So every time that we've stayed here, I've just called and said, hey, can I have some more? And they send more up to the room. If you're a DVC member, can you not do that? So here's an interesting thing. Right here, just outside of Olivia's, they have all of these photos. And so this was the original DVC resort. And so the idea was when people bought DVC and this was their home resort, they would put their photo up here. Look at all these kids sleeping in their strollers. So I wanted to ask you all, do any of you have photos on the wall here? Have you all been owners since 1991? Or like, look, this one's like 2000, so. Yeah, I know that's what I was looking at. All the kids asleep. And you can see it says, this is the family album, meet our members. I wonder if there's, what the newest photo in here is. Ooh, this is my favorite photo. Look at this one, it's fire. I'm really good at these dad jokes now, right? It's like, as soon as, a, as, soon as I produce a child, I just got dad jokes just flowing. <laughs> so we decided to just order Olivia's. Well, did you show them the options for I, the food in there? I sort of did. Let's go back and look at it again okay, really yeah. quick. I didn't realize that there's a specific gurgling suitcase shirt. What does it have on the front? Gurgling yeah. suitcase, old Key West Resort. Huh. That's fun. That's like the bar here. Or if you're like a real fan of the bar, you can get a shirt. So basically our options here would have been pizza, chicken nuggets, burritos, like uh, microwave meals, breakfast stuff, or hot dogs. And there are no potatoes. Like we couldn't get hot dogs and french fries or tater tots or anything like that. We could Just have had hot dogs. We could have had steamed broccoli, but no, Tim Tim didn't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I guess you could do hot dogs and chips. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then also there's like some fresh fruit and parfaits and a, a cupcake here as well. And then some salads up top. You just get hot dogs and champagne. <laughs> 
you could get a six pack of beer for $16.75 for some Miller Lite. So because we ordered Olivia's, we gotta wait a little bit for them to make it. So we made it past the pool and we're over here at the hammock area. Oh yeah, the family tree, I forgot about this. Uh, so I, I don't know if it's every resort has a family tree, but I know that a lot of them have family trees and I think it's this. Wow. Yeah, it looks really neat. So it's been here since 91? And I've seen multiple Disney Vacation Club Resort family trees. And they usually match the theming of the of the resort. So this is Old Key West, so we've got these queen palms up here. Wow. Yeah. Okay, buddy. So when I did the tour of this resort, I didn't have any idea what this is. There's like a stage here and like stadium seating. So I don't know what they do in this area. I feel like this would be a place for like live music or for like a storytelling right. character or something. Right. Maybe. Or like open mic night. Oh no. You can, you can get up there and tell your dad jokes. Oh yeah. I need like props though. <laughs> There's you a like beach the, volleyball over here. You're the Gallagher of dad jokes. Gallagher didn't have props. Yeah, he had I a think watermelons. That's, I mean, I guess that's a prop. And mallets. I think you're thinking of Carrot Top. You're the Carrot Top of dad jokes. Yes. And at the end of the path is a fire pit. Which they would normally do like s'mores during normal times. I don't think they're doing s'mores anymore because of uh, COVID. Also, our food is ready, so we're heading back to pick it up. And, and then we're going to get our desserts from Kong Flats. I was going to say, we have to get our snackies for... I think we're going to try to watch a Disney movie tonight. Oh, yeah. Or something. Or something. <laughs> All right, here's what Jen got. This is the Keo Hueso Shrimp Pasta. Sauteed shrimp, zucchini, yellow squash, grape tomato, and spinach tossed in penne pasta and pesto cream sauce. And this was $24. Then I got the bacon cheeseburger. Let's see if I can actually get to the burger down there. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. This is pretty self-explanatory, bacon cheeseburger. It looks better than the picture looked. Yeah. And these are house-made chips. They said it doesn't come with any condiments, so I had to get some mayonnaise. So what did you think of your dinner? I think that um, everything at Olivia's is really good. Yeah. I thought it was it's a pretty delicious pasta dish. I'm glad I tried it. Um, I normally get the chicken, so I wanted to try new stuff this time. So yeah. What did I, you think of your burger? It was delicious. It was a good burger. It looked, I think I said this already, it looked better than the picture, which is always good. Yeah. Um, but it looked like a legit like burger, like a good burger. Oh, good burger. Welcome to Good Burger. <laughs> Can I take your We're order? all dudes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now Jackson's asleep. Mm -hmm. We watched Saturday Night Live. It was very funny. Yeah, we didn't watch. So yesterday we watched Jumanji and then Jackson woke up. So we missed the end of it. Right. So I, I don't know what happens. I feel like I don't ever want to watch Jumanji again. What if Jumanji's a cursed movie? Why? Because it's about a cursed video or uh, not. Well, the second <laughs> one's about a cursed video game. First one's about a cursed board game. Yeah, I think we are gonna watch it because I have it recording on its next, like whenever it airs again. So in two weeks, we're gonna finish the movie. <laughs> but until then, don't spoil it for us. But you know what I'm saying is like Jackson had such a bad night because we watched oh, Jumanji. okay. It's cursed, Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten, <laughs> right? She's in the movie. Kirsten, um, cursed. Here's the thing. We'll probably just watch it in two weeks and see. Okay. Check so. back in in two weeks and see if Kirsten Dunst <laughs> cursed us. But we did bring some fake champagne. Sparkling apple juice blush. Mm-hmm. So cheers. Happy birthday. This stuff is delicious. It is. It's easy to drink. It's like, you know how when you get the fake champagne or fake wine, it's like the sweetest thing you've ever had in your life? Mm-hmm. This stuff's not as sweet. It is still sweet. Yeah. But it's not as sweet as all the other ones. Like, but it, it's just sparkling apple juice. Yeah. But it's delicious. Yeah. So, um, how, how have you liked your Do you think so they far? just like put apple juice in a soda stream? No, I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> but how have you liked your trip so far? I like it. It's a good time. Yeah? Yeah. So far, so good. I enjoyed uh, the walk to Conk Flats this morning. I did too. Or this afternoon? Yeah, it was really nice. I, ho I hope that we can do that again. Yeah. Um, I want to do some more exploring of the resort. So hopefully we have some time to do that before our trip is over. Yeah. But um, I'm so excited that we're here and I love the resort so far. This trip has been super fun. Um, I hope you guys are having fun joining us on it. Yeah. So 
Uh, we're going to go to bed. Yeah, I'm so tired. Yeah, we didn't really sleep last night, so tonight's the night to sleep. Cheers to sleep. Cheers to sleep. So, with you that being... To drink. Oh, this is bad luck. Okay. So, there you have it. With that being said, we are off, and we'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Mm-hmm.